the universe has always been the subject of human curiosity. This curiosity gave birth to the science of astronomy. Attempts to understand and unravel the secrets of the universe are ongoing using the telescope observatories present all across the globe. Let's take you on a tour of one such observatory today. The Aryabhat Research Institute of Observational Sciences or ARIES. An autonomous institution under the Department of Science and Technology is located about 9 kilometers away from the city of Nanital in the Manura Hills of Uttarakhand. Since its inception, the institute has been successfully working to enrich the country in the field of astronomy. About 51 kilometers away, on pleasant winding paths, we reach the Devsthal Observatory of Aries. And the first sight that greets you when you reach there are the spectacular telescopes. These include the 1.3 meter telescope and India's largest 3.6 meter optical telescope. Apart from these two telescopes, the institute now boasts India's first 4 meter International Liquid Mirror Telescope or ILMT. The ILMT installed with new technology will help astronomers not only in India but all over the world to explore new dimensions of the study of the universe. Until 1996, several liquid mirror telescopes had been constructed using new technology but they were essentially designed for LIDAR that is light detection and ranging applications aimed at studies of the Earth's atmosphere. Following an international conference organized in 1997 on liquid mirrors by Professor Hermano Borra in Marseille, France, it was decided to join efforts to construct a 4-meter international liquid mirror telescope entirely dedicated to astronomical observations. The main institutions involved were then from Belgium, Canada, England and France. Due to budgetary restrictions, England and France had to withdraw. Given the involvement of Ares in the 3.6 meter DOT which had been designed by the Emos company in Liège, Belgium, Professor Ram Sagar, who was then the director of Ares, proposed to join the ILMT project developed in Liège and also install it in Devsthal. Ares had then become, in 2010, a full partner of the ILMT project. The conventional telescope uh, needs a collecting area, so mirror is a reflecting surface and for that glass turns out to be the best uh, you know, reflecting material. But now uh, to make a very large you know, glass mirror of the size of 4 meter diameter, it's quite challenging. It's difficult and, and uh, maintaining and it also gets degraded with time. So as an alternative, people have just thought, started thinking about what about mercury. Mercury is a liquid and if you spread mercury uh, on, on, a, on a surface, then the mercury takes the shape of that particular surface. So you keep that mercury in that bowl and then uh, you start rotating that bowl. Because normally, because of the gravity, the mercury will tend to go to the center of this ball and stay there. But once you start rotating, then because of the centrifugal force, this mercury will start spilling to the edges of this ball. And slowly, it will form a very nice, uh, you know, reflecting surface. The liquid mirror is a modern, more efficient and economical technology among observatory instruments. India. Belgium, Canada, Poland and Uzbekistan are the main countries that have collaborated to set up the ILMT. The funding, estimated to range between Rs 30 to Rs 40 crore, was jointly provided by Canada and Belgium. While the operations and upkeep of this telescope are to be done by India. The liquid telescope is made up of a mirror with the reflective liquid mercury. About 50 litres, equaling 700 kgs of mercury, filled into a disc-shaped base, is rotated at a fixed constant speed along the vertical axis of the ILMT. 
During this process, the mercury spreads as a thin layer in the container, forming a paraboloid-shaped reflecting surface, which then acts as the mirror. Such a surface is ideal to collect and focus light from far-off heavenly bodies. A 4K by 4K CCD camera has been installed 8 meters above the mirror surface to conduct a photometric astrometric direct imaging survey. Columns of the CCD are straight, but the stars don't actually drift in a perfectly straight line. They move in a slight curve because they're going around the North Celestial Pole. And even at the latitude of the uh, ILMT, there's a, a, a noticeable amount of curvature. And that would normally blur the images a little bit. And so to correct for that, we have a specially designed optical corrector that goes at the top of the telescope, you know, between the mirror and the uh, detector. And so that corrector is, uh, it has five lenses in it that are very carefully made and ground. And each of those lenses is shifted and tilted slightly. And the reason for that, it, it's done in a special way, is that it straightens out the star trails so that they're perfectly straight and the stars move at the same rate. And that gives us the sharpest possible images. So we have this special corrector designed for the ILMT that's unlike anything that's ever been built before. The liquid mirror technology has simplified telescopes in many ways. Preparing, transporting and installing the mirrors from a conventional telescope has been a very complex and costly task. But the transportation of mercury requires small storage, but gives the option of creating large mirrors. The 4-meter International Liquid Mirror Telescope is currently being tested. In May 2022, the telescope received light from the galaxy for the first time during testing. Unlike other conventional telescopes, ILMT will capture the sky's images on all nights for the next five years, starting from October 2022. At the moment, yeah, we are reducing the data. This is our main activity presently. And uh, we are trying to tune our tools yeah, uh, to make that automatic and uh, efficient. And uh, so we are working on that. So we, we didn't get yet results yeah, about, um, well, final uh, accuracy in astrometry, in photometry. We are working on that. And probably we'll, we'll get that information, I would say, before October. Then in October, uh, we will have to work to make some checks on the positions of the corrector because we know that some improvements can be brought to it, yeah? And this will be our main activity. Then during the months between October and January, so I would say until December, we would like to make engineering tests, make uh, many different kinds of tests to see what are the ultimate performance yeah, of our instruments and telescope. In this facility, uh, we are using around 50 liters of mercury and uh, the mirror is formed and uh, this is a stationary, this is a only genital uh, kind of facility because in other cases you are aware that uh, in other facilities you can uh, point your telescope in different directions. However, this is not possible in this case because you, you are using mercury as a, uh, I mean since it is liquid. So, it only images the sky which is passing over uh, your uh, head, I mean like Jadith. Since ILMT is a project established by an international collaboration, the data obtained from its observations will be made available to the entire astronomical community. Once we do an image subtraction technique to the data which has been collected with such a telescope, we should be able to detect very many new astrophysical sources with such a telescope. So surveys usually cover a large portion of the sky and also it is monitoring the sky continuously. And hence we are expecting 
that around every day when the telescope is operational in collecting the night sky images, it will collect around 10 to 15 gigabytes of data. So, eventually over the course of time, we will accumulate a huge volume of data and that is where we would also be training and requiring the expertise of the younger generation and the budding researchers to actually use the data from such a telescope. The Astronomical Observatories, established by Aryabhat Research Institute of Observational Sciences, have provided important research inputs to the scientific community. Right from the discovery of new objects in the universe, to information about the formation of galaxies and the death of stars. With the latest liquid mirror telescope, this Indian observatory is now on the path to uncovering many more mysteries of the universe. Following the successful first light recorded with the 4-meter International Liquid Mirror Telescope on the night of 29th April 2022, its commissioning is ongoing and good observational data have been obtained. It was thus decided to inaugurate the ILMT on 21st of March 2023, the first day of the spring and just before the third BINA conference that will take place on 22nd to 24th of March. The first scientific results obtained with the ILMT will be reported during the telescope inauguration and third PINA conference. Today, on 21st March 2023, the ILMT is being inaugurated in the gracious presence of Belgian and Indian dignitaries and eminent scientists awaiting to unravel several important scientific results and discoveries.